good evening students i am prithvi swami bm assistant professor of english at government first grade college chitrahalli chitradurga district so in this video i shall be discussing the poem titled in broken images written by robert greaves this poem has been prescribed for students studying in first year bcom second semester affiliated to davangere university the poem was written by robert greaves a well known english poet critic and a novelist regarding this poem let me give you a brief introduction about the theme of this poem the poem speaks about two individuals who have different approach towards thinking who have different capabilities towards thinking the first person is very sharp because he thinks in clear images for him everything is very clear and he accepts the facts easily and he thinks that he is very fast because he thinks everything in terms of clear images whereas the other individual he is very slow because he thinks in terms of broken images for him things are not so clear but he takes his time to understand the things so the first person who is very quick who thinks in terms of clear images gradually he understands the fact that he is not able to understand the truth because he went on accepting things very easily according to his senses but whereas the other person who mistrusts his images who thinks in terms of broken images he was able to come up with a better understanding of life than the first one so what happens in the poem as you can see you have two pronouns here he and i so he refers to the first person and i refers to the narrator so the first person he he is quick because he thinking in clear images he is very he is very quick he is very fast because for him everything is very clear he never looks things beyond their appearance so he thinks everything in terms of clear images and he is very quick whereas i so the i in the poem the narrator he says i am very slow i am very slow i am not like the first person because i think in broken images for me things are not so clear i think in broken images ee padyadalli modalane baruva vyakti bala vegavagi ellavannu arthayiskondu bidtane because everything is very clear for him he thinks very quickly whereas the second one is very slow because he thinks in terms of broken images that is the title of the poem that is the ability of a person to think in terms of broken images which means a person who never accepts things at their first appearance who goes on questioning the things before he gives his approval so what happens later the first person he he becomes dull trusting to his clear images so what happens to that person who thinks in terms of clear images whereas things are clear to him he becomes dull he becomes slow he becomes dull trusting to his clear images whereas i who thinks very slow i become sharp mistrusting my broken images so you can see the contrast there the first person who thinks very fast in terms of clear images he becomes dull whereas the other person who is very slow who thinks in terms of broken images he becomes sharp what happens later trusting his images the first person who thinks very fast and who trusts his images which are very clear to him i become sorry trusting his images he assumes their relevance so what happens to that person he trusts things very easily avanu vishayagalanna sariyagi ondu reethi prashne maadi tilkonlikke hogalla he accepts things very easily that is what we have to understand when he says things are clear to him so he trusting his images he assumes their relevance which means acceptability avugalanna sulabavagi oppkon bidartha bidtane yakendre ellavu kuda avunige spashtavagide whereas the narrator 
mistrusting my images he says that he never trusts his images easily he mistrust them avugalanna nambuvudilla he goes on questioning them he goes on examining them and i question their relevance adara suktateyanna nanu prashne maartene so the first person assuming their relevance assuming his understanding tanna nambikegalanna avan yen maartane he accepts them without questioning he assumes the fact he comes to the conclusion that whatever he has understood that is the fact ata nanu yenanna kaldukondo aduve satya anno ondu nirdharakke avanu bartane but the narrator questioning their relevance he will never assume the fact instead he question their relevance ಅವುಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅವುಗಳ ಸೂಕ್ತತೆಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ನಾನು ಸತ್ಯವನ್ನೇ ಯಾವುದನ್ನು ಸತ್ಯ ಅಂತ ನಂಬಿಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾನು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ whereas the other person who thinks very slow in terms of broken images he questions the fact so what is important here to understand we as an individual should develop the quality of questioning things rather than accepting them very easily so what happens later the person who thinks very clearly in terms of clear images who accepts the fact saying that this is the fact this is the final truth what happens to that person ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫೇಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ನೆವರ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದನ್ನು ಅವನು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಮಾಡಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಏನಾಯಿತು ಅವನಿಗೆ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫೇಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅವನು ನಂಬಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಂಥ ಸತ್ಯವೇ ಅದು ಸರಿಯಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅವನಿಗೆ ತಿಳಿದಾಗ ಹಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿಲಿ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸೈಟ್ hearing touch smell and taste so what happens to that person when fact fails him tan andukondidda satyave sullu anta avanige telidu bandaga he questions his senses tanna grahikegalanne avanu prashne maartane adare eradane vyakti narrator in the poem when the fact fails me yes he was very much clear that da- this fact is definitely going to fail me because i always think in terms of broken images ನನಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಸತ್ಯ ಸತ್ಯವಲ್ಲ ಅಂದು ತಿಳಿದಾಗ ಐ ಅಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮೈ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ನನ್ನ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ನನ್ನ ಗ್ರಹಿಕೆಯೇ ಸರಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ತಿಳಿದುಕೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಹಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಹಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ಹಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೇಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ತಾನು ಅಂದುಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದ ಸತ್ಯ ಸತ್ಯವಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅವನು ಹಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ and dull in his clear images now you see a shift he continues to think quickly but he becomes dull because for him everything is clear when things are clear to him yavaga avanu yenanna prashne madalvo he becomes very dull this is a negative attribute in a person you should not think in terms of clear images you should not come to conclusion about things you should go on questioning because the first person in the poem what happens to him because he went on thinking in terms of clear images he becomes very dull avan yenada nidanavagoda whereas the narrator i continue slow howdu nanu nidanavagi yochane martene but i become sharp in my broken images these broken images the way i questioned them they made me sharp they made me an intelligent person because i never accepted things very easily so in the last two lines of the poem the poet says he the first person in a new confusion of his understanding he leads he reaches a point in his life where things are very much confusing for him because throughout his life he never questioned the fact he accepted the things very easily he never question the relevance of those things so what happens in his life that he reached a point of confusion of his understanding today he is finding it difficult to understand what is right and what is wrong because his senses have totally failed him 
so he is in the state of confusion of his understanding though he felt that he has understood everything he is in the state of confusion but what happened to the narrator i i in a new understanding i have reached a point of understanding in my life of my confusion i have understood things through confusion it is not uh, through the clarity that i understood things it is through confusion i understood things so how one can conclude this poem by understanding the fact that clear images accepting the facts easily never questioning them it would definitely lead that person to the state of confusion whereas a person may be very slow because he or she thinks in broken images in terms of broken images where things are not clear to them who go on questioning things who go on questioning their own senses ultimately they will come to a new understanding out of their confusion itself so this is how you can understand this poem in broken images by robert graves thank you